in that early. You just had a bunch of shit, bro. I'm trying to think. Artists like you nigga, have you heard Yee yet? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Yee got some shit. Yee got some shit. Hey, that nigga Yee hard, bro. That nigga. What did he say? What did he say? I didn't tell you don't come in there, though. Uh huh. Jose, go. Uh huh. Hey, but that nigga is. Yeah. Hey, bro. Hey, yeah. Hey, are you talking? Yeah, we was outside of. What were you guys at a Mine party? Bro, we had a whole little Yeet concert. Me, Nock, bro, we had the Bluetooth? Yeah! <laughs> Just like that! Hey, nigga, we was lit as hell! Brand new Earl sweatshirt interview with Hakeem from Our Generation. It's absolutely fire. Such a fire clip, fire interview. I haven't heard from Earl sweatshirt in so long. Just seeing Earl sweatshirt's opinions on Yeet is astounding for me. It's it's such a great scene to see, and it's an amazing. Earl Sweatshirt was saying that he really pays attention to the universe, especially just with his flows, his grunts, his ad libs, everything. Just a super spacey beat, right? And I couldn't agree more. Like, just the way that he just finds those pockets, those punch ins, however he does it is absolutely insane. It's so beautiful. Like, they make the oh, grunt noises. For ad libs. I remember Earl Sweatshirt was saying, kind of sounds like an African white guy, but the most African ever, right? Because his pockets are insane, his ad libs. Like he's in a totally different world when he's just flowing in that pocket. Like, there's, like he reminds me of Young Thug in so many different ways. Just the ways that he's been finding all of those flows. And each project up to me is definitely. Definitely my top three favorite projects this year. My favorite song from that project, and by Yeet of all time, is Yeah Yeah. Just amazing hook. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. The song Come On has amazing production. The song Can't Change is absolutely insane as well. Sorry about that. Ecstasy has a crazy song. You know what I mean? Um, the Trendy Way featuring September Rich. He's the most talented artist in the underground behind even the activists for underground for the hyperpop, hyperpop trap wave. Eats number two. You know the activist is number one. But just the way that he finds those pockets is astonishing and amazing to me. Another thing I noticed in the clip was Earl Sweatshirt said he doesn't really like breaking out of the, the rapping box. Because the example of the, the track Get Busy he was pretty much talking about how how lit the song is, right? So he's pretty much just rapping in the pocket, and he's like, whoa, this song is super lit. And Earl Sweatshirt wasn't really feeling that at first because he's, he's very traditional when it comes to rapping, very traditional, old school. And he's one of the best lyricists of my generation. Like, he has some crazy, crazy good songs, crazy good bars. My favorite song by Earl Sweatshirt of all time is Grief. Some rap songs I didn't really like just because of the mixing of it, but you know, like Earl Sweatshirt's a fire artist. And another thing Earl Sweatshirt was talking about was he just really finds his inner self. Cause you almost have to be one with the universe to really find those pockets. Cause those melodies are just super natural. It doesn't really seem like he's, he's biting anybody. Maybe like Young Thug a little bit just with being so free with his flows and just not caring but at the same time as he does care you know what I mean do I want to collab from Earl Sweatshirt and Yeet do, you, do I think it would be good I think an Earl Sweatshirt and Yeet song would be very interesting honestly I think Yeet and Earl Sweatshirt song could definitely work because Earl Sweatshirt really helped out Lucky and Lucky's one of my favorite trap rappers right now too just with a gritty sound I think Yeet and Earl Sweatshirt could somehow figure it out to make the song really psychedelically good. Like imagine Earl Sweatshirt almost having kind of like a storytelling, storytelling beginning to it and it kind of just like branches out to kind of a hyper pop, hyper pop track and starts getting kind of lit. You know, I'd be really interested to see how that sounds. It also has some fire bars too, but I would love a clap between those two. Guys, if you like this video, remember to subscribe. Cheers to all the Earl Sweatshirt fans and Yee fans.